Okay, uh, Laurie and Bashak here have done sterling work today. Uh, finally, doing, uh, finishing the cleaning of this guy. And now uh, Bashak, and uh, they're both drawing. In fact, Bashak's doing the drawing, actually. And it looks lovely so far. Thank you. <laughs> and um, so she's drawing it. We also took a uh, photo for um, making a digital drawing to just compare the two techniques. And we also photo, uh, did the detailed photography and video of this um, burial that is uh, 631 in platform 170. Over here in um, the northwest part of Space 86, um, feature three, 634, um, that we assume is another burial, and that's what it looks as though it's turning out to be. Um, Laurie started excavating here the lid in various floors, floor levels, and you can see it. In the section there is the, um, she's actually on the packing now, but there's like a plaster lid in the profile there. And it uh, looks as though it was originally cut by the burial 617, but there's, um, right now we can see there's a, a lid, a kind of, um, on the west side there is a tiny uh, barrier between 617 and 634. And unfortunately, 634 is, after all, going under the bulk. Not what we thought yesterday, but so it goes. On the east side, on platform 170, we've been cleaning off uh, floors 5 and packing underneath down to what we see here, which is the top of floor 6. And um, Looks really nice here. They've, uh, we've, I've, we've started, Michael Binder and um, Tonya have started, or basically finished, down to floor six on the southern side, and I've started in the northwest corner of, um, at floor six, there on the north of the bulk. And uh, what we can see here in the middle of this, the southern side of, Platform 170, I'm pretty sure, is another another burial pit. Mira, of course, is skeptical. Well, that's what she wants. <laughs> and Laurie has seen another something in the southwest corner there, which she thinks might be possibly another one, but who knows? I'm skeptical of that one, but I'm pretty confident of this one, right through the middle, across the bulk, and probably into... Um, into the northern half, a bit of the northern half as well. That's a pretty big burial pit, would be a pretty big burial pit, might be a double one. And uh, so, and it's on floor six, which actually is still one floor above the, the um, big change. It's actually um, probably the first floor after the new configuration of the platforms, which is in fact what we see, this burial over here, is the contemporary with the first floor, I think I said, after the new configuration. So that'll be interesting to look at. Is it actually, is that really so? When we begin to do the Harris matrix. The north, uh, south east corner, I'm not sure what Anna was doing all day here. Um, some cleaning, scraping. I'll uh, maybe have to ask her. Kind of... Um, it's been going rather slowly here in the southeast corner, but it's uh, looking much cleaner and clearer than it was before. In the south central area, that is the kitchen, um, Book has been taking more of the superstructure away and has also removed the white plaster, which was at the very southern end of this feature. This is now um, feature 613. The, um, and they have, we took photographs today in order to digitize the, um, digitize the, I think we did this yesterday, I think we did, so this is for a digital drawing of feature 613, we, we took digital um, photographs with those points that you can see there. Um, so this, it turned out that there's an, 
how we can see the floor very clearly on which, uh, from which the fire installation has been dug. In the uh, Space 158, the southern corner, Heidi took off um, the fourth slice from the niche and we took more digital digitizing photo uh, photos here. Actually, two layers of, uh, no, one layer of it. And in the northern section of um, Space 158, here, um, Nira uh, did a discussion of this whole area, um, discussing the the uh, different sequence of walls, of the internal walls, and also in relation. To